Hey Aries Collective, welcome back to my channel. This is Angel. We are going to do a you versus them love reading for the month of March. Um, we're going to see what is happening for you and your person in love. This is going to be for the Aries Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And you guys know the drill. Just reverse the roles as need be. Hit that like button if you're enjoying this message. And let's go ahead and get started. Spirit, if you would, please show me the message that you have for the Aries Collective regarding love for the month of March and then show me the energy or the message that you have for the Aries Collective's person they're watching this reading for. Show me spirit. Intuition for you Aries. Spirit is saying use your intuition. Card number 22 breaking down to a four. Spirit is saying there is a trying time that you're having in this connection with this person. And Spirit is saying you're a little bit confused on whether or not um, this is something you need to proceed forward with or if this is in fact um, something you need to cut off. But Spirit is saying your gut knows the truth. So if you are in conflict about this situation with this person, Spirit is saying you're going to need to sit with yourself and do an energy check on your relationship. Use your intuition to do that. At the end of the night, does this person bring you peace, comfort, and security? Or do they cause you to be in conflict, mental conflict, um, not knowing where you stand, or you don't know how they feel about you, or they are constantly in and out and you don't know where you stand spirit is saying do that energy check on this situation as your intuition will lead you to the truth so if this person is causing you k k excuse me conflict and chaos and you're constantly stressed out in the mind and in the heart space then it's possibly um leading you to really really understand that this connection may not be the one for you um, also effort uh, card number 13 breaking down to a four spirit is saying effort is going to be needed if you're going to proceed forward with the situation and what i'm getting from this effort court card when i touch it is that it's not going to be easy this is going to be a very very trying situation um, that you're going to be embarking on in order to turn this around only because you're interested in putting in the effort spirit is saying but you cannot force someone else to be willing to put in the effort because you're willing to doesn't mean that the other person that you're dealing with will be so uh, willing as well show me this person's energy spirit i had one pop in here rebirth card number 16 breaking down to a seven so it looks like this person is going through a rebirth um, a changing in the wind, so to speak, or a shifting in perspective. It looks like this person um, is going through um, a transformation and that they're starting to see things in um, a way that may be able to be a benefit to this connection. Show me more. Physical activity. Um, spirit is saying that this person really, really needs to invest in spirit uh, physical activity. Um, and it's going to be very important that they get out in nature and that they start to exercise and allow their um, spiritual downloads and things to come to them naturally. I think this person may have been fighting towards this rebirth, which is what has put you guys in a state of conflict because you're more spiritual and they're not so much. Um, and it looks like um, physical activity would do this person a lot of good. This is card number uh, 67. So 67 is going to be uh, 13. So that breaking down to, uh, I would say, a four. So you may be seeing 444 four, four with this person. And in the middle of this reading, being the heart of the reading, is going to be patience. Spirit is saying that a lot of patience is going to be needed because this person is... Um, having a rebirth and it's going to take time for you guys to get through the different um, problems and getting on the same page because you're dealing with someone who is operating on a different level than you who doesn't see things the way that you see them and you're more enlightened and awakened so it will cause some conflict between you and this person um, show me um, what do we have for the Aries Collective show me more Show me on Aries' side, how's Aries feeling about this connection with this person? Show me. 
date, meeting someone new, getting out there uh, and setting plans. So it looks like you may be uh, thinking about um, closing this cycle out with this person because you feel like it was just way too much um, to go through and you don't know whether or not you want to proceed forward. But this person is having a rebirth. Um, show me more. Mirror, mirroring each other, self image relationship reflecting wounds yeah so spirit is saying you guys are mirroring each other and that's why this person is triggering you so much as they go through this rebirth and this um dark night of the soul um more to speak that this person is starting to trigger a lot of your insecurities as you are triggering theirs and that's the reason for the difficulty and the conflict in the connection show me more heartbroken deeply saddened and separation breakup yeah so this situation may have ended in a breakup because you guys just couldn't get on the same page this person was fighting against this rebirth and it caused a lot of chaos and confusion because this person didn't understand what was happening to them and it just drew a wedge in this connection you probably felt like this person was all over the place but it it definitely was because they were trying to understand this rebirth process why is everything in my life falling apart why am i hitting brick walls every time i turn around and people don't understand when you go through that rebirth process it is a stripping of the old and a revitalization of the new and it does mean that towers will happen and that structures that we have that are shaky will come down and this person may have experienced a job loss they may have experienced a loss in their family they may have lo uh, experienced loss in their finances um loss of friends um, and things like that and this person may have taken a lot of that stress and anxiety out on you but they didn't understand all of these things were being removed so that they can be rebirthed um, into a new um, state so show me this person's feelings with regard to this relationship for the Aries Collective not today yeah this person is still hurt um, by everything that's going on all of the failures in their life all of the things that have ended that they felt shouldn't have ended um, but when you go through a rebirth process you don't get to say what you want to end and what you don't spirit is going to step in and end anything that needs to end show me more heart with the key welcoming love meeting the one open your heart getting together perfect yeah this person feels like they have met you and that you are someone that they're destined to be with they're wanting to welcome you in because they see this now from a new perspective um also i have masks this person was wearing a mask and they were not sharing with you how they truly felt about you now that they've gone through this rebirth process they have no choice because now things are being revealed to them in a different way um, at the bottom of the deck i have love unconventional love self-love oneness passion and affection so this is definitely a connection that can go the distance um, but you guys definitely have to get out of um, the past and start to look forward with this brand new renewed hope because this person like i said has gone through a rebirth process show me um, with the tarot spirit show me the energy of aries in this connection show me aries's energy i just saw the nine of pentacles so some of you guys may have definitely stepped away from this connection and is focusing on you and you alone show me aries's energy the six of swords so it looks like you may have moved away from this person in pursuit of trying to figure out you know what is best for you this person may have caused so much conflict and confusion um, when all of this stuff started falling down around them that you say I got to get the hell up out of here I need to travel forward because this is just too much for me to have to go through and I'm thinking you may have already gone through a rebirth or a dark night of the soul in your past and you said I already know that's a messy situation and I already know that that's something you have to go through by yourself I can't be a part of that because what will happen is you'll drag me through that situation with you and I'm only here to help you so it looks like you may have bailed out and said look let me keep my distance from this person and move forward with what is for me and if we happen to meet along the way then i'll be happy to meet along the way but right now i can't be held responsible for someone going through a rebirth and taking all of their anger frustration and anxiety out on me um knight of wands you have a lot of passion for this person um this is aries leo sagittarius energy um with the knight of wands you do see um this person as someone that you have um a lot of fondness 
a lot of attraction to you see this person as someone who's very very much your type the one you would settle down with but like you said or like i said um, about how you're feeling you feel like it it wasn't worth it that you need to move forward because it was just too much going on show me this person's energy spirit show me this person's energy yeah this person was angry all the time show me this person's energy and they were keeping their emotions closed off uh the king of wands aries leo sagittarius energy you may be dealing with a fire sign or you may not be but this person is very very fiery um the king of wands is a determined king once the king of wands sets its sights on something then it will make sure that it reaches um that target um, without um, any fail it's not going to allow anyone to stop them from meet, meet or meeting or reaching the destination that they desire and if you look at this king of one he is looking into the past so he's looking over at you on your side um, trying to figure out you know what's going on with us are we going to continue this situation or is this situation um, dead and done show me more The Nine of Swords. Yeah, this person not only is having sleepless nights due to this um, rebirth, but because of this connection, this person doesn't understand, you know, uh, why this connection ended. They felt like you may have um, stepped out of this connection on them. Just reverse the roles. If it's not you, they feel like someone turned their back on them, either you or they did while they were going through this rebirth process and they felt like they were abandoned. They are like, now I don't know what to do because I'm having everything fall um, away from this connection and then I'm having everything fall apart in my everyday life as well with work and job and family and friends and things like that so this person is feeling like they are completely left out in the cold and that's why this not today card is here um, show me um, and you're heartbroken because you felt like you had to move away and that you were forced to do so show me um, Aries's energy on what is preventing the movement in this connection the King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy, the Ten of Swords, and the Judgment. Okay, so it's saying that you felt like um, this person was not being truthful with you about everything that was going on here in this connection. And the Ten of Swords says that you felt like you were blindsided by some of the actions that this person made. Um, and the Judgment card says that you pretty much said, look, I am you know, I'm done. I've, I've made my decision. I'm moving forward without this because it just became too much of a heavy burden. Um, this is Gemini Libra Aquarius energy on the King of Swords and the judgment card is Libra energy. So it looks like you just said like enough is enough. This person is always angry. They're taking things out on me. I'm only here to help them. And I, I, I can't take any more abuse or any other additional chaos from this person when I'm only here to help them. Show me the um, reason that this person feels that this situation is at a stalemate. Show me spirit. But at the heart of this reading is love. The lovers. Yeah, they're saying I chose um, Aries. I chose Aries as the person I want to be with. That's Gemini energy for this person. Um, the Queen of Wands. This is a matching suit. They feel like you guys are divine counterparts. The King of Wands, the Queen of Wands. This person is saying Aries is my person. Aries is my person. Aries is the person that I want to be with. Um, and this is the person that I want to see um, myself with for a long period of time. The Nine of Swords is saying that this person is stressed out. Seven of Cups. They feel like you have options and that you're moving forward without them. And this person is devastated by that fact. And like I said, just reverse the roles as need be. Show me um, the action that this person may take. Show me the actions that this person may take. Toward, no, 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 spirit. Show me the mutual energy between Aries and the person they're watching this reading for. Show me the mutual energy. Show me the mutual energy. The Queen of Cups. So there's a lot of love in this connection with you and this person. I'm going to move this up, guys. There's a lot of love for you uh, in this connection with you and this person. 
um, the intuition. Um, High Priest, the Spirit is saying there. you guys know the truth about this situation. That's Cancerian energy. The Queen of Cups is Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. And then the Strength card, Leo energy. Spirit is saying there's a lot of love in this situation. You guys know it. You guys know it with the High Priestess. Uh, the Strength card is saying that you guys need to be strong. That's where this patience comes in. And that's what this love here is here. Spirit is saying that you guys can maneuver this situation. You can maneuver this situation if you both are patient and that you work w well with one another and you communicate. Um, show me show me the outcome of this situation for Aries. How does Aries want this situation to turn out? Show me how Aries wants this situation to turn out. The Six of Cups, the Two of Cups, and the Seven of Pentacles. You're saying you know that this is your soulmate and counterpart with the Six of Cups, the Two of Cups, and the Seven of Pentacles. But you're saying I'm waiting on them to make a change. They're going to have to make a change before I agree to this situation with the Seven of Pentacles. Um, but you know that this is your partner. Um, show me. Look at that. The moon card popped out. There's uh, still things that are hidden in this connection and secrets um, that have yet to be revealed. That's Pisces energy. You may be dealing with the Pisces. You may not be. But show me how the Aries person wants the situation to work out. Show me how does Aries person want this situation to work out. Two of Swords, Hermit, and Four of Cups. So basically at this point, they're saying they need to uh, go within with the Hermit card being Virgo energy and make a decision about um, this missed opportunity. They do have a lot of love for you, but they're saying, okay, I'm recontemplating everything in my life. I need to understand where I need to be. So this person is sitting in a place of introspection. They are going within and allowing the divine to assist them with making this decision. Um, but right now, they cannot tell you um, where this situation is going to end up. But Spirit is saying, as long as you guys are patient and that you operate from a place of love, anything that is hidden can be resolved in this connection. So Aries, this is what I have for you guys. I hope this brings you peace, clarity, and direction. At the bottom of the deck, I have the seven of wands. Spirit is saying you need to defend this situation at all costs, both you and this person, because this is a divine um, partnership. So you're going to have to be patient. You're going to have to defend this situation. It will work out for you. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell notification so you know when I update, update, upload another video. Somebody is very confused in this reading. I have been stumbling this whole reading. But hit the bell notification so you know when I upload another video. If you're interested in a personal reading, look in the comment section for that information or the link in the bio, depending on what platform you're watching this video on. Take care, guys. I love you, and I'll see you on the next one.